All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. All right, everybody. This is Raha Pathwell, Ben Yaakov, and I'm sitting here with my children. And uh, I just want to come alive for a few minutes just to inform everybody that I that the Shabbat class, our normal Shabbat class that we do on the Shabbats, will be counseled, counseled for today. Okay, so we're not going to be doing Shabbat class today. I have another meeting that um, I've been invited to have been invited to attend today. Uh, short notice, but told I y'all we're going to be going fellowshipping with some ox and the colts uh, today. So I'm going to cancel my broadcast for today, and uh, we'll pick back up with my Shabbat classes on next Shabbat. Okay, so I just want to call, uh, come on, and inform you all that I will not be broadcasting today. All right, but I will pick up my broadcast next Shabbat. And then uh, um, later on this month, I'm also going to be in uh, North Carolina. I'm going to be in North Carolina. This little dude's trying to get down, so I'm going to let him go ahead and get down. Uh, I'm going to be in North Carolina uh, mid-December sometime. So there, there will be another time that I won't be uh, broadcasting on the Shabbat. But I'll, I'll let you know the date. When that occurs, but today, uh, as of today, I won't be broadcasting on the Shabbat class. Okay. What that? All right, yes, right, yeah. Come, come down, son. They're trying to do the video, all right? So, um, I just want to say shalom to you all, and uh, I will be missing you all on the Shabbat class. I, I, I really am going to be missing everybody, but Bye. I feel it in my spirit that it's very important for me to attend this particular meeting that I've been invited to. So we're going to counsel uh, Shabbat class for today. But please join me. I, I, I beseech you to join me next Shabbat. Because I have a very uh, in-depth, powerful teaching. I want to be dealing with another strong delusion doctrine among the Israelites regarding uh, intimacy. Uh, uh, is intimacy considered marriage? Okay. And that is a false doctrine that a lot of these brothers are teaching that, you know, a man can basically just take a woman, you know, uh, uh, lie with her, basically, and then they marry, you know. So I want to deal with that aspect because that is not true. That is not true. It's not, script it's not scriptural. It is not according to our Hebrew customs, okay. So I, just, just let me say this. Let me say this. Okay, you think, think about how disrespectful that is. If we're, if we're dealing with ancient Hebrew culture, According to marriage, all right? Just think about how disrespectful that would be. If you are a man and you have a beautiful daughter like this right here, my beautiful Kaya here, Kaya uh, Shemak Yisrael, all right? You got a beautiful daughter, right? Now, a man's daughter has a special place in his heart, you know, because a man's daughter reminds him, reminds him of his wife. You know what I'm saying? So... It's, it's, it's not that he loves his children differently, but there's an extra protection, extra uh, a concern for the, a daughter, you know, and, and everything of that nature. And those of you who are fathers, you have daughters, you understand what I'm saying, okay? I might not be explaining it uh, uh, perfectly, but you understand the feeling, you know, to have a daughter. Imagine if someone came up to you and said, you know what, I'm just going to just take your daughter you know, lie with her, and you can kick rocks. I don't care what you think about it. She's my wife. Think about how disrespectful that is, okay? Because when you look at it from a logical Hebraic perspective, okay, a man's house, a man's children is his possession. And I'm not saying that in the sense of, you know, a dictatorship or a slavery or anything of that nature, but... A man's children belongs to him because that is his seed. That is his zirah in the Hebrew or his offspring. So imagine if someone would come to you, how disrespectful that would be to tell you that they don't want, they're going to take something from you without your permission. You think God's pleased with that? You think God would be pleased with that? No, no. We have certain laws and customs in the Torah as it relates to situations, you know, in regards to marriage and intimacy and we need to restore those guidelines because if we restore those guidelines and these laws and, and customs 
that safeguard women and young young girls from being taken advantage of, okay, then we can begin to uh, reestablish righteous order, righteous order as it relates to marrying our sons and our daughters to uh, uh, Israelite uh, men and, and women, so forth. So I, I want to talk about that, and uh, hopefully we can continue on with the discussion concerning marriage. I have been talking with my wife because I would like for her to come on uh, maybe sometime in the future, and we do a lesson on on marriage. You know, especially for young couples, young people who are desiring to be married, and uh, you know, to share with them our testimony and our love story. You know, I I, I believe our love story would be a great blessing to those of you out there who are seeking to be married. Those of you who are maybe virgins, you know, you're virtuous, you're virgins, and you're looking for. Uh, you ought to send you somebody that can relate to your status, you know, as it relates to that. And then there's other people out there who may not be virgins and things of that nature that also can bless you and uh, give you encouragement to wait and to seek Yah for your perfect spouse or that person that Yah has for you, okay? So I just want to make this video saying that we will not be broadcasting today, but join me next Shabbat because we will be on the air live next Shabbat. Continue to pray for me. Continue to pray for my family as I pray for you, Yisrael. Let's also keep in remembrance those that are suffering in Liberia, in Libya, in Libya. Okay, let's keep those people in prayer. Okay, no matter what the reason might be that they're going through what they're going through. When we see people being mistreated, being uh, uh, injustice, being uh, uh, performed on a people, then uh, those of us who have been through those things, our ancestors have been through those things, that we should be able to relate to their circumstances and situation and ask y'all to have mercy upon them as well. Because the scripture says, if you don't show mercy, then mercy won't be shown on to you. So Shabbat Shalom to you, Co-Israel. Have a blessed Shabbat day, and I will see you next Shabbat on True Remnant Ministry Shabbat class. Shalom. Everybody say shalom to everybody. Shalom. All right. All right. Tola yeah.